this is my wall of prints and art stuff. Seeing art is very important to me. I like surrounding my workspace with stuff that um, I'd feel inspired by. So that's how I usually choose the, the photos that go up here. Usually I buy the postcards or the prints from artist friends or usually the travel finds as well. Like these ones are from my friend Keisha. She's a really good illustrator. She's the one who did um, the re-sweater the re -sweater that I have. This one's from Rookie, uh, Rookie Yearbook. Rookie is um, an online magazine that's been a favorite since it has started. This is a sticker sheet of luggage tags, fake luggage tags. This is um, an art print from a Frankie magazine that I just tore out. These are some of uh, my Purikura pictures from Japan. It's like the neoprint of <laughs> before. This is from Los Angeles when I visited. Um, and then a few postcards from my Maxuini Ocean Sweaty Face postcard set. These are a few images that are important to me. Sometimes I print them out, um, like this one. It's a Life cover, Life magazine cover of when the Apollo 11 landed on the moon and it was the first moon landing ever. So space exploration means a lot to me and um, I put it a lot in my work. So. I put it there. These ones are um, my Harry Potter pins. I actually have one more. I have a prefect Gryffindor pin. It's somewhere else. But this one opens up. It has a chocolate frog, although it is on the wrong side. I know. But um, I love Harry Potter. It's something that is very, very close to my heart. I'm really, uh, I'm really obsessed with it. This one is um, a NASA patch. It matches my jacket. It was from when I visited the Kennedy Space Center in Florida and I still haven't put it anywhere because I don't know. It feels like a commitment to put something on a, on an article of clothing and I'm not ready. This moon, um, it's glow in the dark. It was a gift from my sister. It's parang the old school glow in the dark stars and planet set that she bought for me for Christmas. And I put the I put the moon there because I love the moon. This is a milky drink and it's very special to me because I first saw this on Instagram and I know of this as um, a milk candy and I love milk, I love candy, I love milk candy and I saw this as a drink and I didn't know that um, it existed. So when I went to Japan, I had to hunt this down. It was very, very elusive. It does not, um, it, they don't sell it on like normal convenience stores. So I had to go to a Peco, Peco Cafe to actually find this and when I got it, I thought the packaging was really cute and I had to clean it out and bring it home so now I have two cans. <laughs> this is uh, sort of my Japanese shelf. I have a lot of other Japanese books that are scattered around the, the area but this is the general vicinity where they go. I like how the spines look all together. That's why I put them all together. It's all just Japanese themed, themed books. Like this is for street style. This is a kawaii book. These are also um, street style books from Japan. These ones are just kitschy images. And this one is a Kyari Pamyu Pamyu book. Um, she's one of my favorite J-pop artists. I don't have a lot, but I love her. And this one is from Natsumi Hayashi. She's a photographer. She's a levitating girl, if you have seen her uh, online, I'm sure you have. And this one's just a general book about Japan. I love buying books about Japan. Um, I have a lot and they're mostly here on the shelf. It's a Yu Aoi book. She is a really popular actress model in Japan. Um, I'm sure you have seen her films. If you've ever watched Rune Kenshin, she's Megumi, but she has a lot more films. Um, it, it's a pop-up book. It's really, really good. Look. It's really exquisite. Um, it was really expensive too. I bought this in Japan. And it was expensive, but... See, it's a house. And then it's... All that. It's Marie Antoinette. And my favorite page. It's like a, an igloo or a snow globe or something. So it's really cool. This shelf is the extension of my Asian kitsch collection. So I have a lot more like, Asian-y stuff. This one is the Fruit Dorupu can from Game of the Fireflies. <laughs> if you've ever watched that film, it's Setsuko with the fruit drops. And this is a really sad scene. 
but it's great. This was given to me by my friend Tata. And it's another fruit drop. I got it from Sanrio Puroland when we went. This is Anpan Man, one of my favorite characters. The red bean bun man. I have a mask of this also. I collect Eki stamps, which is train, train stamps, but I've had them all on a different notebook and then um, I recently went to Japan and got an actual notebook for the Eki stamp collecting. So I haven't filled it up yet because everything else is on the, actual, the other notebook. But when I go next, then I have all the stamps in here. This one's cool. This is a sushi card and it's a conveyor belt. This one is um, a book about Chinese propaganda posters. They're very the old old posters from before. This was given to me by my friend Vika. I collect these um, tin cans. They're just from one company, and they're very <laughs> they're very fancy. They're very cute. These ones are Disney stickers that my mom got when she went to Disneyland without me. Um, she just got them from a cast member, so a lot of it are excess stickers. This one is a box where I keep all my photos and travel postcards that I buy whenever I go away. These are filled to the brim with Polaroids and other souvenirs, paper souvenirs for my travels. This studio, um, Zoom in the Moon, is mostly inspired by my childhood, things that I've loved, things that I used to own as a kid. I just like displaying stuff that I'm really into or you know I'm obsessing over I think that it's really important to surround yourself in things that you love things that make you excited because this is a place of creation this is a place of new ideas I just like the feeling of having everything remind me of good times or like good thoughts I have toys from my childhood like my Furby doll or my Barbies my Viewmaster, my Tamagotchi, these things that I've, you know, I've kept since um, since I was a kid. I've wanted to build a place where I can put them all in like one one corner and just look at them, and it reminds me of simpler times. I think there's great value in building a place of your own, something that you can call yours because whenever I'm feeling uninspired or whenever I'm feeling like I'm lost or I can't make sense of anything, I just go here, I write, I create something. It doesn't matter if it's bad or it doesn't matter if it ends up being a great work from me, but knowing that at the end of the day, I have something like a place like this to go back to, to rest in, that feels great, that feels amazing to me.